So the next stop is, is controlling sales document. So here is we starting the full fledged customizing. Okay, so all the customizing is starting from here. Okay. <clears throat> basic principles of business process control. Okay, what are the basic principles for that? <clears throat> now the main thing is now so far what we have seen is uh, that what are the business processes in a SAP SD um, module and uh, how the end users are using it like anything from the beginning you have seen so far like customer master or the customer master master is created how a sales document is created how we're creating a delivery how we're creating a billing what is output and all that okay and uh, different type of document flow and all that okay so these are the functionality we were learning so far that I use that that's used by end user or the users in a company okay but now what we're starting is what is behind those uh, those business processes or those uh, those sales sort of creation and like you can see different types of sales sort of behave differently for example if it's a if it's standard sales order it will behave differently if it's a return order it will behave differently it will, if it's a consignment issue it's behave differently and all that okay so like cash sale and all that okay so so how do they behave differently? Where are the changes we can make? And where are all the settings behind the screens? Okay, this is what we're going to learn now. Okay, but the main thing for you to learn is, is you should always question why we're doing this. Okay, that always whatever we're doing, whatever I'm showing you here, you can ask me why, why we're doing this. What will happen if we, if we not do this? Okay, so you can ask me this question anytime. And that's the main question that will, uh, that will, um, uh, uh, make you learn why we're doing if you think why it's why we're doing this that means you know uh, you will learn that uh, if if this is a reason we're doing it then how how we can change it where we can change it why what we can change change it okay how we can change the business process or the workflow or anything okay so <clears throat> let's start with this uh, uh, topic uh, controlling business processes mm. Okay, so let's start with this one, controlling business processes in sales. Okay, now you have seen that <clears throat> uh, we can copy from uh, a, 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 like a, what I have shown you before was, you have seen that I have created an inquiry. Okay, from an inquiry I have created a quotation. From this one I have created a sales order. And also, you know, the further delivery and all that. Okay. Now, this in this workflow, you can see I can create an inquiry. From inquiry, I can create a quotation. From quotation, I can create a sales order. Okay. But can I? Is it possible for me to create a sales order first? And from the sales order, I should be able to create a quotation. Okay. Let, let, let's do this experiment. Okay. So it's the other way around. And also doesn't make a sense. For example, if I if I go to VA21 to create a quotation, and here I will say quotation type QT, and I will say I want to create with reference with a sales order. Okay, now it doesn't it doesn't make a sense if someone is saying I'm creating a quotation with respect to sales order. Okay, that you know we always create a order with respect from a sorry we create a sales order from a quotation but not a quotation from a sales order. Okay, so so if I try to do it, let's see what happens. So I'm trying to create a quotation here with reference to a sales order and here I will go to the order tab here and I will put any order 13381 for example and if I select copy system will throw me a message see system is saying I can't do it copying is not possible copying is not supported that means this is how the system is customized system is customized so that you can go via this path but you cannot go the other way around 
okay so this is this is called copy control okay this is what we do in the settings okay of course if i change the setting i can do this but in the standard system it will not allow you okay because the standard system is is basically customized with the which is uh, with the business process which is most commonly used in most of the industries so if you see this um, um, copying control this is called copying control okay so for example we have we, we need to do the copying control from like from header to header how we want to uh, uh, copy from header to header then from item to item and from schedule line to schedule line okay so how so if you want to if I want to change the settings in the copy control, I need to change the settings for the header, for item, and schedule lines. Okay, because when I'm creating a an inquiry, for example, from the inquiry, inquiry type is say uh, maybe leave inquiry. I'll just see the uh, this example. Say quotation is QT. Okay, so I'm, I'm copy, copying from QT quotation to a sales order say OR, sales order type. OR okay so this is how we do the copying okay header to header header is QT for quotation type sales order type is OR but and we also need to do the item level as well so for example if I'm doing with to header to header I'm saying that from QT I should be able to from QT I should be able to create a sales order type OR and at the same time this is header at the same time, I need to tell the system that also we need to do the copying control for items. Okay. For example, items is um, uh, AGN for for uh, uh, for the quotation and the sales order item is 10. So we need to do the both settings. So this is the item level setting. Okay. And also the schedule line setting. Okay. Schedule line copying control. Okay. We, we, I'm showing you this one in the details in a minute. Okay. So what I'm saying is we need to do the different types of copying control so that an item can be copied from one document to another document, right? <clears throat> this is what this slide is saying, okay? <laughs> so we have like different basic functions like sales document types, item categories and schedule lines and their basic functions okay this is what we're going to learn here controlling sales documents sales document types okay so here we're learning how we can create different types of sales document okay so when I'm saying sales document types includes it includes different types of orders for example it could be a sales order it could be a inquiry it could be a quotation okay it could be a uh, rush order sales uh, uh, cash sale and all that okay Con consignment fill up consignment uh, uh, delivery free of charge delivery so we have seen this one in the last class I guess rush order what is rush order what is cash or cash sale consignment pickup consignment fill up is that this is what we have done I think in the last class um, where is that uh, let me check if I'm not sure actually no, not this one. No, this will come soon. This will come in the next slides. So, but here just to let you know that there are different types of business, uh, this different types of uh, transactions. Okay, like we also have outline agreements that we will learn, we will be learning soon. Okay, so we have done the complaints. Okay, right. So how we create a return? How we create a credit memo? How we create a debit memo? We have seen how we create a sales order, inquiry, quotation, all that. And this this is we will learn soon. Like rush, what is rush order? What is cash sale? Consignment fill up and agreements. Okay, but they are all part of sales document types. Okay, they all are sales document types. Okay, so if I show you the way that uh, setting for the sales document type is, so you can see here. Let me close this one. For example, this is the, I'm I'm in, into the uh, selection uh, into the creation screen of a quotation. Here the QT is a standard quotation, but if I open this one, I can see there are some a lot of different types of quotation. Okay, so anything you can see with Z, that means it's not SAP standard. Somebody created, someone like you and me created this one manually. So if you need to create your own, you will start the name with Z. Okay, I will be explaining this one soon. So here you can see different type of uh, quotation, and standard quotation is QT. Okay. Even if I try to create a sales order, 
So if I go to BA01, 